Hello data pros, and welcome back to another exciting video in our Databricks learning series. In our previous videos, we explored two key architectures, the Data Lakehouse architecture, which focuses on platform design, and the Medallion architecture, which outlines how data is organized and processed in multiple layers. Today, we're moving forward to discuss Unity Catalog, the central hub for data management and governance in Databricks. Imagine you're walking into a furniture store and you're handed a product catalog. This catalog lists all the furniture options, whether it's a sofa, table, or chair. It helps the store organize and manage their products efficiently, and it provides all the details you need to choose exactly what you want to buy. Now, think of a catalog in a data platform in the same way. It organizes and provides detailed information about data objects, like tables, views, and functions, making it easy to find, manage, and use your data assets effectively. In Databricks, this is called Unity Catalog. With its cutting-edge modern features, it goes beyond the capabilities of traditional database catalogs, delivering a more powerful and efficient solution for data management and governance. Before Unity Catalog, the Metastore, user management, and access control were tightly coupled with individual workspaces, leading to fragmented and redundant data governance and security practices. Unity Catalog simplifies this by introducing a centralized Metastore, user management, and access control. Please take a closer look at the Unity Catalog object model. The Metastore serves as the top-level container for metadata within Unity Catalog. Within a Metastore, Databricks objects are organized into three hierarchical levels. All these objects are securable, meaning fine-grained access control can be applied to them, ensuring that only authorized users or groups can create, modify, or access the objects as well as the data contained within them. Let's take a closer look at these levels one by one. Level 1 comprises one or more catalogs, with catalogs serving as containers for holding one or more schemas. In addition to catalogs, you can create other objects, such as credentials, external locations, connections, shares, and more. These objects do not contain data of their own. Due to their broader scope and usage across schemas, they are maintained at this level alongside catalogs. Up next, at level 2, we have schemas, also known as databases. Schemas contain tables, views, volumes, AI models, and functions. Schemas provide an additional layer of logical data segregation on top of catalogs, enabling more granular access control and efficient management of your data and AI assets. At level 3, we have volumes, tables, views, functions, and models. We'll dive deeper into these objects in our upcoming videos, but in short, volumes are logical containers for unstructured, non-tabular data in cloud object storage. Tables are collections of data organized by rows and columns, while views are saved queries on one or more tables. Functions are units of saved logic that return a scalar value or a set of rows. And models represent machine learning models stored and managed using Emmaflow. With this hierarchy in place, Unity Catalog uses a three-level fully qualified namespace, which is catalogname.schemaName.objectName. For example, if you have a table called Sales in the Analytics Schema under the Retail Catalog, its fully qualified name would be Retail.Analytics.Sales. This approach ensures that every object can be uniquely referenced, even if you need to define two tables with the same name but within different schemas. I've logged into one of my Databricks workspaces, and here, I can use this dropdown to switch between them. When I select Catalog and click on this gear icon, I can see the Metastore name. Typically, one Metastore is created per organization during the first workspace setup, and any subsequent workspaces created in that region will automatically be assigned to the same Metastore. Please note that Metastore information is usually visible only to account admins. You can also retrieve the Metastore ID by using the current Metastore function. Within a Metastore, there are many catalogs. Let's expand one of the catalogs named OMS Analytics. Now we can see many schemas. Further expanding the schema, we have tables and views. By selecting a particular table, we can access complete details about it, including the owner, tags, table description, and column level details. We can also view sample data. 
Find where the underlying data is stored in cloud object storage. Check the access permissions granted to this table and more. When logged into a workspace, you can create a new catalog. As mentioned, this catalog is not tightly coupled with the workspace where it was created, as it can be made visible to all workspaces in your organization. Moreover, catalog visibility is fully customizable. With these settings, you can choose whether to make particular catalog accessible to all workspaces or restrict access to specific ones. Now, let's take a deeper dive into the standout features that make Unity Catalog a true game changer. Unity Catalog provides a centralized approach to data governance. For instance, access control policies, descriptions, and tags are created once and accessed across the workspaces. This helps maintain consistency and ensure seamless data governance throughout the organization. With its built-in AI features, Unity Catalog can automatically generate descriptive metadata, such as table and column level descriptions. This reduces the manual effort needed to document datasets, making data more understandable and accessible to users. Unity Catalog offers fine-grained access control, allowing you to grant or revoke access to Databricks objects at any level of the hierarchy, including the Metastore itself. Access to an object implicitly grants the same level of access to all child objects underneath it. For example, granting a user select access to a catalog also provides select access to all schemas and tables within it. Additionally, it includes advanced security features such as role-based access control, attribute-based access control, role-level security, column-level security, dynamic data masking, and more. These features provide robust data protection and security, ensuring that sensitive data is kept secure and compliant with organizational policies. Unity Catalog automatically tracks data lineage, clearly showing users where the data came from, how it's transformed, and where it's used. This comprehensive graphical lineage diagram is created automatically from your ETL notebooks and jobs, without any manual intervention. This greatly enhances both the traceability and the understanding of your data across the organization. Unity Catalog simplifies data discovery by providing a centralized view of all data assets, making it easy for users to search and access the data they need. With advanced search and metadata features, it streamlines the process of finding valuable data quickly and efficiently. Unity Catalog supports compliance and auditing efforts by providing detailed audit logs that track changes to the catalog and data asserts, including who made the changes and when. This enables organizations to effectively monitor activities, enhance data governance, and ensure compliance with industry regulations. Unity Catalog eliminates the need for manual maintenance operations on tables. Features like predictive optimization specifically identify tables that need maintenance or optimization and automatically run the necessary tasks behind the scenes without manual intervention. Unity Catalog supports federated databases, allowing you to bring metadata from external databases like PostgreSQL or Snowflake into Unity Catalog. This ensures that the underlying data remains in its original platform while still providing easy access to it within Databricks. Furthermore, Unity Catalog easily integrates with other governance tools like Calibra, Alation, Microsoft Purview, and more. This makes Databricks a versatile solution for hybrid and multi-cloud environments, enabling organizations to manage data and governance consistently across diverse platforms. That's all for today. Please stay tuned for our next video where we'll explore more Databricks topics. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay notified of our latest videos. Thanks for watching.